All right, so the third term is 1407 and the tenth term is 1183. So we got to be a little inventive here. So um, it's an arithmetic sequence and it goes from three to seven. So we have three, term three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we went up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven times D is going to give us uh, the total difference there. So 1407 minus 1183. Actually, let me do it the other way because 1183 is the second term. So 1183 minus 1407. So we have negative 224. That's the total change. It happened seven times. And hopefully this gives us a nice even, or not even, nice round number. So negative 32 is our difference. So then we have the third term is 1407. And we need to go backwards three times. We need to add 32. So that's going to be 1439. This is, whoops. That's three, that's two, that's one. And then we gotta add 32 more. So it's gonna be 1471. So U1 is 1471. So there's part A. And it says calculate the number of positive terms in the sequence. So we wanna know when this becomes negative. So we wanna know, let's say, Let's just find out when it equals zero. So zero equals uh, U1 is 1471 plus N minus one times negative 32. So anyway, we can plug that into the, the calculator and I'm just gonna solve it algebraically if it's quicker. I'm going to divide this by negative 32. So 45.96. So 46.96 is equal to n. That's going to give me a zero. So I'm going to need to go to 47. Because if I'm at 46, it's not going to be even all the way to zero. So I need to go a little past zero. So the 47th term is going to be the first time that it's um, that it's negative. So I'm going to write this down. First negative term. And I'll reread the question because I have a feeling it said how many positive terms are there. Tell you the number of positive terms. So there are 46 positive terms in that sequence because the 47th one is going to be 